Hey folks, it's Matt with Living in New Braunfels, Texas and Keller Williams Heritage. Today, uh, wanted to get out and about a little bit. It's a little overcast. It's been cold. We got a cold front over here. Um, woke up this morning and it was in the mid 40s. So I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna get out and about a little bit. I'm gonna go take a little trip to Shirts, and it's bringing us to the Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch. You see my friends back here? Yeah, so uh, off of FM 3009 uh, between Shirts and uh, eh, the outskirts of New Braunfels is uh, Natural Bridge Caverns and the Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch. So today we're gonna visit the Wildlife Ranch and see what kind of wildlife we can see. Right here, as soon as you enter, they have uh, their giraffe sanctuary. These things are so cool. And look, the little baby one. There's some other animals back there. Not really sure what they are, but yeah. So they've got more animals uh, you can drive around. Um, that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, also up here at the front is where they have the restrooms, the uh, gift shop, a uh, little restaurant as well. Um, they're delivering some beer right now. So apparently they've got that as well. Awesome. So when you come in off of FM 3009, uh, there's two ways you can go. You can go to uh, come to the wildlife ranch or you can go to the left and go to the natural bridge caverns. We'll explore that some other time. But I'll tell you what, let's get started. All right, as soon as you drive in, you can go to the right and you can visit the cafe and there's some other interactive stuff that we can see later. Uh, here's a parking lot to go see the animals. Go that way to the left. Let's go check them out. Yeah, you just drive through here on the road. You can also buy bags of food to feed the animals. They'll walk up to your car or truck. And for y'all, I bought a couple of bags. So let's see what kind of animals we can get up here at the, at the truck. do ask that you not get out of your vehicle. Do not get out of your vehicle. Uh, speed limit around here is like five miles an hour. I came kind of early, so uh, we'll be able to go through this uh, a little bit faster than you kind of normally can. Because uh, normally there's, I mean, a line of cars in front of you. You come later in the day. Hey, buddy. Yeah, so if you come later in the day, there's gonna be a line of cars. It's gonna take a lot longer. There's a lot of stopping. And just remember, this is their home. We're just kind of hanging out. Meow. Check out that one. give you a guidebook to tell you what everything is, but you're just gonna have to come here to see what they all are. They gave me a guidebook, but uh, I didn't have time to memorize it and I'm not gonna read and drive at the same time. These don't, these guys don't even, they look like miniature Brahma bulls. They don't seem to be too interested in uh, what I'm feeding. Over here, take a look at that fella. Look at those horns. Some bison. It's a really cool place to bring the kids. Um, you know, you're going five miles an hour. It's private property. You can let them out of their car seats, kind of look around, feed the animals. Check out these guys. So I think they installed these. Uh, I don't recall them being here. I've been out here several times. But these little uh, 
little shed type things where they there's covers where they have the hay. Um, during COVID, we came out here last year. We brought our son, and um, they weren't allowing people to feed the animals, so you know they weren't selling any feed. The animals were still out here. Obviously, this is where they live, but you couldn't feed them, and then they would just be eating on the hay near the road. Got some beautiful hill country views out here while you're driving around. So there's different parts of the ranch. Uh, it says we're now entering Kilimanjaro Overlook. Some of the sections of the ranch are actually um, sectioned off with like cattle guards and stuff so the animals can't cross between them. All right, I gotta look up what these things are. That's maybe an Addix, A-D-D-A-X. Pretty cool looking. And it's not the cheapest thing you can come and do. Um, for adults, and I think they deem adults like 12 and up, is uh, about $25 a piece. Uh, the food is, uh, looks like it's $4.65 a bag, but I mean, you're coming here for the experience as well. I mean, how often do you get to feed an addicts? Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you give it a like and also hit that subscribe button. Thanks. This next section is the Kenyan Preserve. All right, not a whole lot to see in the Kenyan Preserve. So this one run away from the truck, and now we're in uh, Tower Creek. Oh yeah, I remember this section. This section's cool. It said this is African style traffic, stay on the left. And do not stop on the hill, keep a steady pace. Morning, how are y'all doing? We got a friend coming to greet us over here. Hello, big scary bird. Kind of cool, huh? Been this close to an ostrich. They will stick their heads inside of your car and scare the ever-living crap out of your kids. <laughs> that big old eyeball. Hello. There you go. Don't, <laughs> don't try to eat my face. <laughs> Got some more ostriches over there. They don't, I guess they don't care about the food that I have. Look at the horns on that one.
No? He's not interested in the pellets. <laughs> the one in front of the truck, he's like, I'm not moving until you feed me. Here you go, buddy. Oh, maybe he is moving. What, what? Ostrich butt? Here you go. Some little giraffes. Some much bigger ones. So right here they have a, a little rest stop. I think they've got uh, restrooms, a scenic stop, and drinks and treats. So that was Tower Hill. Saw some ostriches, <clears throat> some more giraffes. Look what we got over here. Some zebras. guys are feeding on and it's obviously way more interesting than the little pellets that we're feeding today. A lot of times they'll be right up at your vehicle. There's even signs that say zebras may bite. <laughs> so, and to always throw the feet on the ground because they'll be right at your window. Not today though. Oh, maybe that one. Well, not as much interest from them today. Oh, it looks like they're going to be putting in a cheetah habitat in here. That's pretty cool. So what if when the uh, cheetahs race each other, one of them looks at the other and says, you a cheetah, no, you a cheetah, no, you a cheetah, and they laugh and laugh, and they go eat a zebra. <laughs> this is something you don't see all the time. Rhinos.
So if you follow me on uh, social media, you'll see that I, uh, I dressed up as a rhino for Halloween. It's because my son, Ryan, his nickname is Rhino. So he was a little rhino, I was a big rhino. Save the chubby unicorns. They are white rhinos. All right, we're entering another park called the Maasai Savannah. That is not all our food. We bought two bags. If y'all can see all these other deer and ostriches out there. What up, bird? All right, so that's going to conclude the uh, the driving portion of it. They have another section called the walkabout. Let's go check that out. So this is the walkabout area. There's a safari camp grill, also restrooms. Trading post and gift shops over there. Let's go check out these other animals though. Walkabout coming soon, okay. You see the birds? some lemurs in here somewhere oh it's so it's like 48 degrees right now so they're kind of hanging out inside oh there's one down here a black and white rough lemur and you do not feed these obviously so got some wallabies in here bennett's wallaby Some monkeys in here. The Brazos monkeys. I don't see anything over here. Again, it's kind of cold out here. We were just in the, like the 80s a couple of days ago. And now we're in the 40s. That's Texas weather for you right there. November it goes from the 80s to the 40s real quick. So 
think something's usually out there, but I can't see what it is. It's like something they want to keep away from everybody else. There's a moat around it. Godzilla? I don't know. I could be wrong. I could be right. Hey folks, I hope you really enjoyed this visit to the Natural Bridge Wildlife Ranch. Make sure you give this video a like and hit that subscribe button. And if you're thinking about moving to New Braunfels, make sure you give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, whatever you need to do. All my contact info is down below. Until next time, watch the next video.